On money and safe Oh no, wait, okay. Oop. Now for the the sink check. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Yeah, seems good. Same old, same old. Um, I might be a little loud in comparison to the game, I don't know. Also, yes, the bot finally works again. So, so how's it swinging? We're gonna, oh, wait. Gonna adjust the microphone. Could have turned it off. Could have. So, first stream since E3 happened. I took a small break for that. Uh, I did a bit of. Oh. I, I gotta switch the headphone thing actually. So, give me a second to do that. <laughs> real quick, real quick. Just. It. Sorry for the delay. But my USB hub is giving me the spicy keychain, so I'm not having fun with that right now. Basically, the, only the first three ports are working, and the rest is just bupkis. I might have to get another one once I'm able. But I mean, with some creative management of USB cables, I was able to find something that it would work. At least I'm assuming. I'm assuming it's working. So, last time, we went to save Mr. Krabs from a fiery death by getting back King Neptune's crown. Basically, you know, the plot of the movie, if you've ever seen it, but you may not have. And, uh, then we went to a manly man bar club, and then we fought the frogfish from the movie and now we're gonna go into the trench I went back to bubble blowing baby hunt in order to in order to grind up a little bit and also to get a treasure chest I missed yeah there was one part where I beat a bunch of enemies in a pit and I mumbled something to the effect of uh, was there something there and you something you know and it turns out that when you beat the enemies in that one pit, that the barrel explodes, but I must have died or something, which reset it. So I went back and I got that. And I also got some level, like one or two level ups, just to make them a bit more powerful. Anyway, like I may have said before, this is the first stream since E3. Yeah, I did say that. So I guess it's probably an expectation to talk about what was revealed there. Honestly, the thing I'm most excited about is Luigi's Mansion 3. They basically confirmed that the portrait ghosts are coming back and that get that went get, bleh, that game went from looks pretty good to oh man. And then we also got you know, uh, as expected, they announced SpongeBob for Smash Brothers. He was brown, and uh, Patrick had more feathers than I remembered him having, but it was definitely him. Make no mistake about that. And also, there was an anime guy. I think that might have been uh, Zuko from Avatar. 
Anyway, this is not the level we're supposed to be in. This is the level we're supposed to be in. Rock to get slide. To Shell City, you're going to need to cross the bottom of the trench. You can get to the bottom using this slide. I personally think bubble blowing baby hunt is the height of the game. Not to say the rest is bad, but I think that's the high the point. The trench is along the bottom, but you have to get there first by traveling down the slide, past those sea monsters. Also, we became men, as you can tell by our green mustaches. They're they're only green because they're not ripe yet. Don't worry about it. Mm, the trench is pretty deep. And very dark. Oh, no sweat, Mindy. We're men now. Those sea monsters wouldn't scare a guppy. That's the spirit. Now get down there as quickly as possible. And we get the slide music. Whoa. Oh, I, I thought maybe you got... thought maybe you got something from smashing those, but I think not. And you gotta quickly react to these. Though they do follow a bit of a predictable pattern. Also... I don't know if, how you guys would feel about it, but, you know, last stream of this, in retrospect, I wasn't the biggest fan. I was kind of dry, and uh, I don't know what it is about Spongebob that does that to me. Even got some stale memes in there and some, like, dad-level humor. Yeah, just something about Spongebob games completely destroys my brain and my ability to commentate anything ever. We'll see if we can't make this one a little bit better. Alright, so I have a few questions here about uh, biology and anatomy and uh, what the heck. Ouch. Yeah, I apologize though if I'm not really paying attention to the chat right now, but I gotta... You know, there's no real downtime in this level. So I gotta focus on the challenges being presented to me. Is this like a tongue I'm riding on? Look, man, I, I don't know what kind of anatomy trench beasts have, but I'm pretty convinced you need to see a doctor, my man. You get it because they're not paying attention. That's uh, one of them react quick secrets. Pull over! I need to. Uh. Uh. But got a treasure chest. Dark. Not sure which is the path Red. we're supposed to go down, but I chose this one. I mean, we will get more chances to explore this level. There are other missions in the slide levels, just like the other. Oh, oh, okay. Well, turns out I had one more jump than I thought I did, so... I'm alright. Also, I promise, Tony Hawk is still coming. I'm not... The skateboarding bird... The skateboarding Birdman will still happen. But I don't know, I just wanted I wanted to play Spung. So that is what I'm doing. I agree, SpongeBob, that was different. I've been saying that this whole level. Enemies that are basically incapable of hurting you in this level. I ain't complaining. I like free experience. Like I said, maybe maybe a hot take, but I actually kind of like this slide theme better than the one that's in Battle for Bikini Bottom. Take that, you big monster thing. You'd be surprised, but the SpongeBob games do not slack on music, at least not these two. Though Creature from the Krusty Krab is also a highlight. 
So many choices, I'm gonna, so little time. I'm gonna go down the right. I don't know, it just struck me as the way to go. Oop. There's just, I want to find all the secrets, but there's just so much going on at any given time. You're just constantly moving forward and you gotta keep your wits about you. But there's the finish line. How you like me now? Holy cow! You actually did it? Of course we did! We're men! Yeah, right! Here's a reward. I don't think she had faith in us. This place is full of horrible, hideous, and disgusting monsters. You've got to cross the trench to get to Shell City. It's kind of pulling his skin along with it. Oh, is that you want nightmare music? We got you. I'm sorry, SpongeBob. You don't have enough Goofy Goober tokens for me to give you the Sponge Bowl. You'll need the Sponge Bowl to defeat the monsters here. Sponge Bowl? Uh, will a cereal bowl do? Sorry, SpongeBob, but you need more Goofy Goober tokens. All right, so we're short one one token, so we're gonna have to go back. So where should we go? Let's do uh, the sandwich driving time challenge. So yeah, there's a little bit of a forced grinding here. Do you want to try a time challenge? I'm challenged all the time. Good one, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? You'll have a set time limit to get to the end of the road. I'm telling you, this if game. You in less my commentary time, falters because I'm. This you. game's funnier than I am. All right, so you gotta make it there in four minutes. I gotta remember the controls because it's been a little while. I, okay, I've remembered them. I mean, the forced grinding doesn't bother me too much because, as you know, I'm gonna probably go back and do all the missions anyway. But you know, Ooh. Okay, so I, I went through there last time, so let's go this way this time. Okay, not not anything really important over here. Ooh. But yeah, you get a you get a little bit of another chance to uh, scout the area out. Blow your horn a little bit. Uh. I don't know if there's any, like, how many secrets are I missing? In, wh I don't remember which one I went down last time, but I think it was the right one. Oh, no, there's no secrets left in this level. I got them all. So, no need to worry about that. Uh, uh, whoa. Uh, okay, not doing very well. Controller going mental. Whoa. 
At least we get to grind some more. Some more points, I was going to say. Ooh, I might not make it, actually. I don't remember how long. No, I'm going to make it. Yeah, that would be uh, the Goofy Goober level. Okay, so we should be good to continue now. Now I, think. I have a real challenge for you, Mindy. Yeah, there's like a ring challenge, but we're not gonna do that yet. Until we're closer to the end, we're going to do the bare minimum required. Awesome! You have enough Goofy Goober tokens to earn your next ability, the Sponge Bowl. Yeah, we, you know, you may remember this from Battle for being the Bob album. Oh, I forgot my spoon. You already made that joke. No, Sponge Bowl. It's really useful on things you don't want to get too close to. Most of the things here. Those nasty bucket heads must be stopped. Shell City is on the other side of this dark, scary place. Real men aren't afraid of the dark. You need to get across this trench. Real men aren't afraid of the trench? Of course they're not. Just look out for monsters. Psh, monsters. Alright, now there's some stuff back there I don't think we can get right now. So yeah, basically the move from Battle for Bikini Bottom, only it's not a bubble. He likes me. So let's go, gentlemen. Ew. Tell me if the rumble is getting picked up a bunch on the microphone, because I can turn it off. And this is what the game wants you to do. Wants you to up. Oh, well, not that. Should probably upgrade the sponge bowl now that I have another level. Oh, the controller's rumbling. I just don't know if it's picked up at all. Okay, so you can basically have a de detonatable sponge bowl now. So that's good. Oh, what's in there? Oh, these guys. These just ooze macho. Come on, come on, <laughs> Okay, and that's the uh, enemy generator in this area, I believe. So let's get that guy out of the way as soon as possible. Oh, so... Oh, that guy was generating the dudes down here. Mu music from a Spongebob game. Very atmospheric. We we sonic heroes now. SpongeBob heroes. Team SpongeBob. Uh, team Plankton. I don't know. I can't think of anything else. Team Sandy. 
you know, Sandy would Sandy would probably be the knuckles of the trio, if anything. Also, I died. I don't know why I'm even thinking about this. It's about SpongeBob heroes. I'm not feeling like a game of catch right now. Can I just detonate it on him? Yes, I can. So this is more useful than I thought. So as you can see, Patrick and SpongeBob both have one more move to get. And you can probably guess what it is. I won't spoil it, but you can probably guess. Also, a challenge over here, like a a combat challenge. Oh, and there's a secret. Find your papers. Up to Daisy. Okay, let's do the combat challenge. But now that we have a uh, oh dear, but we have the exploding uh, super bomb, so that'll help out tremendously. That won't, however. Oh, but wait, I can uh, I can do this. I can uh, send projectiles back at him. I just remembered I had that. You know. It's a good thing the uh, uh, Bubble Blowing Baby Hunt doesn't have a combat challenge. Otherwise, I'd know where to tell you to farm for XP. Okay, oh, I'm sucking. Sucking several eggs all at the same time. Oh. Now shoot. Okay. The timing on this is pickier than it seems like. You want to do it earlier than you think would be uh, a good idea. I I could be doing better. Really could. I mean, it's supposed to be getting more difficult. That makes sense, at least. Okay, I probably need to take care of some of these guys. Okay, a lot of guys. Oh! <laughs> Wasn't there, was there something else I could reflect projectiles with? Or was it just this? Okay, and now I'm doing it too soon. Uh. <laughs> okay, I need to go get a Krabby Patty. There's kind of a specific timing to this, I'm noticing. Wave two complete. All right, wave three. Bring it on. Bring it on. Oh, that, that, that's the new type of guy we haven't seen yet. I, okay, I might die. I could die. Okay, I'm all right for now. Oh. Okay, never mind. Dying still very possible. <laughs> SpongeBob horde pants.
if fighting a hundred due to something you wish then drop on the deck and die Good thing there's regenerating health pickups. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm not dead. I am not dead, but I could be at any moment. Such as now. Oh my god. Game for babies. Game for little babies to play on their Nintendo Xbox. No nah, man, we're playing we're playing Call of Duty. Now that SpongeBob is a man, he's playing Call of Duty. Vacuuming up manliness, even in the corners. Baby game for the babies. For baby people. Sponge pants baby man. Hang on, let me let me adjust this just a little bit. Okay. Now we may advance for real. Okay, got to do multiple in a row. Can I, can, can I kill this thing? Hang on, I want to see if I can kill this. Well, not easily. Oh, that guy's back. I don't care. I don't care about you. Please do not hit. Okay. Box. Is the sliding bowling attack glitch still possible? Um, I don't think so, but I'm going to need to get the last move before I can check. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. If you haven't figured out what it is by now, I just gave it away for you. I mean, not exactly the same, but it's in effect the same attack. Ugh. Okay, again, anatomy. What's the anatomy here? Not so fast. I get monster sick. Is there something cool down in there? I don't know. Okay, so it created the sponge wall. I'm telling you, if it doesn't exist, somebody needs to invent a thing that you plug into an HDMI source and it puts Twitch chat up on screen. That being said, I say that fully knowing that I have no idea how technically intensive such a thing would be. So we have a monster inside what is presumably another monster. I mean, they did say the trench was gonna be freaky. I just didn't think that it was going to be Metroid levels of freaky.
You know, come to think of it, shockingly, I don't think Metroid's ever done an area, area that was fully inside of, like, another creature. Considering what that series is like, I'm, that honestly shocks me. Oh. <laughs> cool. Needless damage. Like that. That sounds like a very fake laugh. Like, it sounds like me trying to imitate Spongebob's laugh. Da ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Go for it, then. <laughs> really disgusting noises in this area. True to Hillenberg's vision. Okay, so I guess that keeps this in place. Okay, so you can destroy those. I'm not feeling like a game of catch right now. Okay, I'm going to die to projectile. Okay, no. Okay, so we can level up. I'm gonna level up SpongeBob's HP. <laughs> I thought I wouldn't need it. But I didn't realize that this was actually a baby game for babies. So I, I need more health than I realize. Alright, red and bodacious. Well, it gives me another chance to get some more manliness points, which I apparently need really desperately in this game. Okay. It. 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 Okay. Yeah, man. Baby game for babies. This guy doesn't know, though, that I have the power of... Of that. Okay, it's that guy. Can I, uh, blow that get thing up? Can I... The sooner I can get that out of the way, the better. Oh, okay. Alright. Right now. Okay, kind of a mini-boss going on here. Come on, come on, wherever you are! Green Bikini Bottom, one tablet soul at a time. I'm not feeling like a game of pets right now. Oh, okay. Maybe I should just leave. Maybe that would be best. Oh, hey, just some regular freaking jellyfish over here. You gotta have some kind of break from the insanity. I like that the other Krabby Patty still got dragged in. Alright, level's still going though. We ain't done here yet. Oh yeah, we gotta. Yeah, we gotta adjust the trajectory of the 
the springs to get us where we want to go. Um, roar at roar at monkeys. Okay, and there's there's a treasure chest on the lava fall there. Okay, so now I think we want to redo this one. We got a little bit of a puzzle in the Sponge Baby Bob game for babies. So yeah, now that the trajectory of this one has been adjusted, that guy can uh, get me. And I can scratch my nose because it itches. So where does this one lead? Okay, so you want to put that one up and then go back down. And chain them together. Now we're where we want to go, I presume. Alright. Alright. Now there's still the matter of that lava fall. I guess that's later in the level, though. Maybe. Oh yeah, so I think what you gotta do with the lava fall is you gotta come back here once Patrick can throw things. But first, until then, first we're dealing with this guy. Yeah, you may remember that gimmick from insert previous Spongebob game here. Oh, hey, don't fall in the lava. Also, actual lava this time. And not just goo. SpongeBob's becoming more of a video game every day. Ah, oh, but we just did this whole number. Another very familiar thing. I mean, I can't blame them. They they had a time limit on this game. Most movie games don't turn in turn out anywhere near this good. But it makes sense that they had to reuse a lot of stuff in order to make the deadline. I'm trying to think, what other movie games turned out actually kind of alright? I mean, Aladdin, that's one. Oh yeah, the Toy Story games were both good. Um, I wouldn't say that DuckTales counts, no, because like you said, that, uh, that's based on a TV show, so there's less of a, a hard time limit there. Also, I wouldn't say games like Mickey Mania count, because those were based on uh, long-running long -running sort of cartoon icons and not, not any particular show or anything. But yeah, most of the time I feel like games based on TV shows tend to do better than ones based on movies. Oh, another encounter. Gonna wanna take care of that thing, which I have. Toy Story 3 game was okay. It wasn't anything like majorly impressive. 
Oh yeah. It had an intro to the... It had a recreation of the Toy Story 2 intro, which is pretty good since I... Since shockingly the actual Toy Story 2 game did not. But yeah, it was alright. Nothing like too crazy though. In, unless you count the toy box mode, which a lot of people thought was really good. Okay, so yeah, you gotta. There's a few more things we can do before we leave the level. Alright. More Mario Sunshine platforming challenge. Oop, whoop, whoop, yep. Now with spikes. Dustin no likey. What's hilarious is that I, I played the SpongeBob movie game before actually streaming Mario Sunshine. Which I'm going to do. I I do want to stream Sunshine, but Still. Macho stuff. Okay, we got a scale to heaven. Or not. I can't tell. Do we got a scale to heaven? Well, heaven's where the checkpoint is, at least. Complete tonal whiplash from the rest of this level. It's just like you're, there's like this super dark looking atmosphere level and then you just got do 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 Oh yeah, Mario Sunshine would definitely be more interesting, but at the same time, you know, again, this is a licensed game based on a movie that nobody really expected anything of. So... I'll cut him a break. Ooh, there's a... Ooh, no, there's a secret box in here. I do not like the implications of that. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Okay, there's a time limit. Don't, not not liking the implications of that either. Okay, this is neat though. Oh. Okay, was that um Okay, so for this we want to come uh, Patrick. And swing across here, then we can end the level, I think. There's still stuff to do here, but again, it's nothing we can do yet. So we just gotta hold off. I'm trying to figure out a comfy place to put my iPad where I can still look at the chat. And that has the risk of bumping into the microphone, however. But as you can see, there's a convenient staircase on the other side. SpongeBob and Patrick escaped the trench full of hideous, disgusting monsters. Meanwhile, Dennis continues to follow our heroes. Some unsavory types attempt to get in his way, but he manages to reason with them. And so, like two tin cans in a trash compactor, 
SpongeBob and Patrick continue on, blissfully unaware of the danger closing in on them. Standing in their way is a field full of stanky garbage, but with Shell City somewhere on the other side, they have no choice but to push on. Plankton is using those televisions to brainwash unsuspecting ocean creatures. You must destroy those televisions. Patrick, you've collected enough Goofy Goober tokens. Okay, so we finally have it one level later. Now with improved targeting! Whatever that is. <laughs> Are they acknowledging that this is just a recycled Okey move? Dokey. Plankton's using those TVs to try and trick people to come to Bikini Bottom. If they go, they'll become slaves in his army. If only there was something I could do. You have to destroy the TVs. Who knows how many people Plankton will enslave if we don't? Never fear, Mindy. I'm an expert at knocking stuff down. All right, so that wasn't so tough. So what's the, what's the button here? Oh, it's R. Has it always been the shoulder button? No, nah, in the GameCube version, it it was X. I know it. I mean, in the previous game, Patrick didn't have a somersault. Granted. Some some good music. But you guys do that. So, oh, there's his proper introduction. Now, if only he could do that in the gameplay. Oh. Jumping, jumper, jumper, so there's the toilet. The manliness has landed. Nothing more to say about that. Okay, so I gotta do that again. Oh, no, wrong button. I gotta press the squeaky shoulder button. Hopefully that doesn't end up... Hopefully that doesn't end up actually picking up too much in the video. Okay, so I'm not going to go down on the toilet this time. You know, honestly, I would have been more comfortable with the input switched. Like, shoulder button to do the somersault. But that's just me. Okay, that's probably what I was supposed to do. Oh, even the jellyfish now. Oh, wrong button. Again, I'm just used... For some reason, I'm just still used to how Battle for Bikini Bottom controlled. Okay, I don't think I'm getting up there. Eat at the chum bucket! Now with Krabby Patties! Okay, we don't actually need it. And I think that's just to get Okay, I gotta find out. Yeah, it's just to get back here. 
Plan Z! Plan Z! Plan Z! Plan Z! Plan Z! And they make sure you do it too. TV was bad for you, but I didn't know it was this bad. <laughs> All right. The intertube man is sitting in the distance. And since I am not SpongeBob, I must use advanced techniques to take care of him. I keep pressing the wrong button. Oh, we're almost at a level up. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that it would be, uh... I heard uh, Mario Party 7 got censored over there for that very reason. Okay, so may as well upgrade Patrick's throw. Pulling and holding. Oh yeah, that's right, they released it like that, and then they were like, oh god, we can't do that. <laughs> that wasn't so tough. Always gonna upgrade the moves before anything else. But we definitely do need some more health for this guy. Oh, uh, no, 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 okay. Oh, no, wait, I remember. They didn't really make this clear, but I remember a thing you could do in the, uh, le previous game. Oh, uh, you could, uh, very easily get yourself in a bad situation here. No, actually, I think it was seven, because I remember it being, like, the train level. Oh, no, wait, there is, uh, there is the fruit here, so I guess you wouldn't have yourself in too bad a situation. Also, I just noticed this over here. Yeah, that's one good thing about patches being a thing now, is that you don't have to get all your copies back. Like, can you imagine if Ultimate came out and the whole stink involving the Native American thing happened, and they had to recall all the copies? Nah, now you can just patch it. I mean, I don't think it's patches are inherently a bad thing. It's there's been good and bad that's come from both. Like you got people who, you know, will ship an unfinished game. Oh, is that Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Five? What? Um, you know, because they know that they can just. Uh, Okay, that didn't work out for me. Because they know they can just patch it later. But then, on the other hand, sometimes it means that game-breaking bugs, like the ones that were in, say, Skyward Sword, can now actually be fixed, and players don't have to worry about them anymore. So... Yeah, see... What Nintendo did on the Wii was they released a program that... They released a program that patched your save file instead of the game. So if you got stuck, you just used that utility.
Okay, I'm not. I'm having some trouble hitting the guy. Um. Yeah, now that the Wii Shop channel is down, you can no longer get that utility. Yeah, and Smash Brothers Brawl could have probably used a few patches. Oh, gotta move my leg. It's falling asleep. But yeah, no Wii Shop channel means you can't get that unless you have a soft modded Wii. Which, I mean, really, at this point, you probably should, though, all things considered. Like, even if you're not gonna do some quote-unquote unsavory things with it, it's still good to have a soft-modded Wii just for the utilities that you can get. Oh, okay, my leg. I think it's waking up, but oh god, this is that uh, does not feel good. Uh. Okay, just a moment. You know, you know the drill regularly scheduled Dustin wakes his leg back up also it's not a huge amount but I noticed the picture quality is ever so slightly clearer on my TV than it is like on the capture card maybe that's just my streaming program processing it but just before the great Stuff here? Ugh. Leg. Yeah, I know, man. This game is proving a lot raunchier than I remembered. I'll use this opportunity to see how long I've been live so far. About an hour. Looks like. Oh. Okay. I'm almost there. Almost there. Okay, I think I'm good. Did I accidentally press the button? There's there's no need there's no need to uh to warp there. I'm already there. Okay now what was I doing? Do I have to press a button? Oh no, no, you can totally jump that. To totally. Oh, there's a challenge. Spongeball challenge. Alright. Let's go. Let's do, let's do the do. Oh, I'm not a fan of this setup. Oh, you get it. You get my joke. <laughs> Nothing like a little man type oh. up. I have failed. All right. Got some sunshine. Got some monkey ball. There's something here for everybody. Okay, get up there. Oh, no, no. Okay. We're all right. Okay, okay, no, okay. That's what my commentary is right now, just okay. The Alternatron. Ooh. Oh, horizontal fan. 
I like this setup even less. Okay, so red, no, no, yellow, blue, red. Okay, that it feels like that should be more menacing, but it's not. Have there been any checkpoints? Well, probably doesn't matter. Unless I fall off right here. Okay. Now that we're done with that little side adventure. No, Patrick, we don't need that kind of overpoweredness. That's gonna smart. Light as a feather, but heavy as a brick. No, we don't. Hey, you do. How do you just? Eh. Okay, like that. Oh, okay. You gotta do like the stacking thing. No. You just gotta like press it. Hello, Deva. Deva. Okay. Get up on there. It's kind of <laughs> you know, come to think of it, this might respawn that guy too. I hope not. I sincerely hope not. Well, if it did, if it does, then it didn't. A confusing Ooh. sentence, but one that I assure you does make sense if you really sit and think about it. Okay, there's a SpongeBob challenge to be done here that we can't do yet. No, because I, I keep pressing it just, like, just a little bit, but you just, you gotta go, like, all the way in on it. Come to Plankopolis! The town's so nice, they named it after me! Hmm. Oh, you gotta, you gotta bring one from over here, I think. Well, okay, this, on its own, does not work. That, that, but with feeling. Kind of a tricky maneuver. Uh, that seems awfully tricked. I don't know, is that what you're supposed to do? Okay. That just uh, detonates it. I mean, I could, in theory, use the porta potty to get up here, maybe. Okay. Whatever they expect you to do, I don't want to do it. So I'm not. <laughs> Alright, so there is a secret uh, back behind the TV, so I want to see if I can get it. Alright, yeah. It's actually not difficult at all. How many do we got in this level? One out of four. Not doing the best so far, but I guess could be worse. Could have zero out of four. The 
three meter island. See, I'm not entirely sure. I think this is the way I'm supposed to go. So, I'm gonna go this way first. Okay, so we got rising acid, garbage water, whatever you want, sludge, the ooze from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the sludge from adolescent samurai turtles. Pill bottles. It looks like it might not actually be rising. That might have been something I made up just now. The lava water acid rising. It seems that may not be true. Either that or it's taking its sweet time to do it. I mean, I won't complain. This means I can do this at my leisure. Oop. So, so anyway, it occurs to me that I never actually talked about E3, but I think most of you guys already know how I feel. Oh, God. I think you guys already know, most of you already know how I feel about the stuff they announced. But basically, I think the thing I'm looking forward to the most is uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. It looks really good. And uh, Animal Crossing looks pretty neat. And obviously, I like it looks a Link's aw Link Stop Awakened. Link, Link isn't asleep anymore. That game looks pretty nifty. Looking forward to playing that. Um, what else was there? Um, everyone else pretty much bored me to tears. No, no offense to you guys that liked it, but. I was not a huge fan of basically anyone who wasn't Nintendo this year. <laughs> Nintendo was the only one who had anything I cared about. Oh, well, maybe not cared about, but, uh, yeah, Bethesda brought back Commander Keen. Uh, Bethesda defiled its grave for money. I mean, I wanted Commander Keen back, but not like this. Not like this. Another floating block challenge? Wow. So soon. Well, I won't complain too hard. Okay, so this is a different ice than the previously established ice. See, this ice has more ice on top of it, which means it behaves differently. This is basic isotology. And if you didn't know it, then you should go back to kindergarten like I did just now. Now, some people have told me that isotology is not a real field of research, to which I show them my degree, and they tell me, Dustin, that is a napkin. Now, of course, napkin, being the French word for degree, See, see, that ice was completely different. 
completely different looking ice with completely different properties. Oh, and there's a secret. But yeah, I don't know if there's been secrets in these the whole dang time. Probably. I probably picked one up before and didn't even realize it. Cool, cool. But I got the secret. Just like walking on ice cream. Okay. I am an actual gibbering baby with no hand eye coordination. Oh, and I have clicked a button on my iPad. Squidward. And I have destroyed the chat. We got, oh, right. what did I do that for? I just was on autopilot for a second there. Well, gotta do this again. Sorry, my leg died again some more. Just like walking on ice cream. It's alright, this is nothing compared to what I did during Crash Bandicoot. I think I uh, pressed this to see how many treasure chests I had or something. And then I just autopiloted into oblivion. Just taking the hit. Just taking the hit. Okay, now the key is don't get in your ledge grab animation on these ice blocks or else you'll spend the entire length of the block trying to climb up onto it and then die and then do this and then die some more and then hate yourself and hate your life and what it has become. And I don't think I get my time back. Jumping, jumping, so every death is more time down the toy each. Yep, absolutely do not get it back. What, do you think this game is for babies or something? You think you're playing some kind of baby game? Nah, mate. This is SpongeBob SquarePants, not SpongeBob Pansy Pants. Go play Mario Sunshine. I heard that's easy. Ouch. Uh, why don't I do the same thing? I am not beating this level in 16 seconds. I'm just not. Tis, tis not happening, my good sir. Just like walking on ice cream. Now the question is, does the time limit just make me die or does it boot me? Okay. Then you get the time. Oh, yeah, it restarts you. Oh boy, I did not remember that about this game. Yes, this is the SpongeBob movie game. Oh, slidey stuff. Yeah, not not game for babies. If you if you want an easy game, go play go play Mario. This ain't this ain't Mario. This ain't for babies.
Yeah, it's like, are you re are you ready, kids? Well, you better be the manliest kids that have ever lived if you want to make it through floating block challenge number 52. Ooh. Okay, I survived that one at least. The level is now on a different global timer. Just like walking on ice cream. Okay. The manliness has landed. Okay, can we do it from here? I thought for sure that was gonna hurt me, as was that. Okay, we did it. Okay, I want to make sure that that's, uh, that that's triggered as we go through the pipe. How much of a man do I have? Oh, I, c I could have been somersaulting through this. Coming through! Stop doing things with me! Okay, well that was a waste. As was that. Um, it was painful, we'll say that much. Well, at least I can level up a bit. So let's level up Patrick's health. You know, I never can get enough of these. Yeah, I remember my first Krabby Patty. Huh. Yeah, I'm glad I upgraded this move at least. It's kind of Okay, the soda can. Soda can. I like the atmosphere of this level. It's honestly pretty good. And I have a feeling that this is the climax of the climax of the level given that we're getting like okay this is uh an intense setup yeah do not approach i mean you get a checkpoint and infinite lives but <laughs> okay. I need. I really need to get rid of that. That thing. Please give me the space I need to do so, or that, or I can press the button and it blows up anyway. Whatever gets the job done. Okay. Okay, there is a Krabby Patty down here, though. Oh, 
Okay, that ought to do it. Ouch. Unless I die. Hopefully that does not happen. That's good as smart. Yeah, I don't know if you can throw it over there from here. Yeah, I think you gotta do the platform challenge. Come to Plankopolis! The town's so nice they named it after me! Oh, I threw it way too soon. I panicked. Never get Neptune's crown back. <laughs> Eat at the chum bucket. Now with Krabby Patties. There we go. Dennis, I was hired to kill you. Look, buddy, I hate to burst your bubble, but you're talking to two men here. We don't have time for these silly games, so if you could just step aside. <laughs> oh, help me, Patrick! Don't worry, buddy, I'll save you! All right, Dennis Boss. Not a very compelling boss. I don't think Dennis is allowed to have flunkies. Okay, well, it's, it is going to be bad if I, uh... Oh, never mind. Bob and Patrick escaped the clutches of the mad, murderous Dennis. Only to be captured by the even more hideous Cyclops. And then, they passed out. Awakening in a dreamy, goofy, goober wonderland where... Oh, wait a minute. Hey, it's the goofy goober. Patrick, there's the goofy goober himself. Oh boy. As I was saying, SpongeBob and Patrick continued on. Allowing nothing to distract them. It's just a dream. Don't waste your time. Uh, go ahead. Obligatory. Only Goofy Goober knows the way out of Gooberland, the sea bottom's nuttiest place. 
obligatory non-plot related filler level. Guys, Goofy Goober knows the way out of the amusement park. Follow Goofy Goober. Don't worry, Mindy. There is no chance of him getting away from us. Yeah, we won't let him out of our sight. If he gets too far away from you, you'll have to start again. Stay with him, SpongeBob. All right, gotta gotta follow the Goober. has nothing, did not appear in the movie. We made it up. This one was invented by a writer. Yes, I know there's a secret there, but it might be better to get the, get that on like one of the missions. Stay with him, oh no. Okay, gotta follow the goober. That takes priority. But there's some twists and turns on this. Oh. Ugh. Okay. Stay with them, uh. Stay with them, I'm trying. But I need a heal, my man. Stay with him, SpongeBob. There we go. I'm working on that. I mean, gotta use them somewhere. I will say though, I do, I do really enjoy the aesthetics of this level. So, plot irrelevant as it may be, I do kind of like it. Back here, Peanut. Your legume legs will not carry you away from me. Stay with him, SpongeBob. Oh my 
god, I'm I'm doing it. Okay, we gotta go under the water thing. Okay, that didn't stop me, which is good because I was worried it would. Well done, Patrick and SpongeBob. Here's your reward. She said my name first. <laughs> When SpongeBob and Patrick awaken from their sweet dreams of ice cream sundaes and dancing peanuts, they discover that they have become prisoners of the Cyclops. For you see, gentle viewers, our heroes had at long last made it to Shell City and had discovered its awful secret. Shell City was nothing more than a souvenir shop. Those who were captured were dried up and turned into smelly knickknacks. And that is precisely what was happening to our two friends. The situation seemed to be completely and utterly hopeless. But they were saved by the tear of the goofy goo bill, as well as a conveniently placed sprinkler system. King Neptune's crown lay nearby, but our heroes still needed to escape the treacherous depths of Shell City and get past their most dangerous adversary, the Cyclops. This is Shell City? What a horrible place! But don't worry, there must be a way out. Good job getting the crown. Are you kidding? That was easy. Yeah, we are the manliest of men. Then what about the hopelessness? Hopelessness? The weeping? Lady. You must have been watching over someone else. Never mind. There's no time to waste. Find a way out of here, get past the Cyclops, and back to the Krusty Krab too. All right. So. I didn't do that. So I will say, this is a pretty good slide Look, level. It's his face. And that is a secret I want to get. How was that for you? And even if I died. Oh, but it keep it saves how many faucets I had turned, it looks like. For a, for a slide level, this one's pretty non-linear. So you So you get some uh some options on which way to go. And I reckon the goal is to, you know, turn all the faucets and subsequently break them. Okay, so all faucets have been turned. I don't remember if there was another goal besides that. Okay. So I think we go up on this yellow one. I think we gotta go on the very top of this, the top of this one. That's a word. Don't judge me. Just like embiggen. It is perfectly cromulent. Oh, okay. There was a path over there that I just barely missed. Oh, but I get I can have another chance to check it out. Well, that was different. We can check it out yet, probably. <laughs> I'm 
I mean, I appreciate them integrating Shell City into the actual game. I mean, Lord knows I don't know how I would have done it. Okay, so it's like... But yeah, it's like that way. I died. Yeah, and it, it lowers... It lowers that, that one. Luckily, though, it respawns me here. Which is bizarrely nice. Uh, I'm convinced that I need to go over there. Yes, I know all faucets turned. All faucets. How was that for you? Okay, well, I wasn't over there before. I just, I just want to find the secrets, you know. I just want to find the secrets. The secrets give me life in this dark time. I need to get on to the red, the red pipe. Now okay. I know how my ancestors felt. Well, that was different. Okay, there's no real reason to do it, but now I know. Now I am aware. How many are in this level? There are three somewhere. Oh, okay. Just wedge myself right on in there. In fact, this actually may have been advantageous. All faucets turned. All faucet turne. Whatever that means. I just kind of said it. Don't don't ask me. I mean, I guess it means all faucets turned. Kind of get some. Get on the edge here. Oh, I wish this place had something to oh, but we ain't done yet. We ain't done yet. Oh, okay. Uh, there's a uh, a treasure chest up here. And where was it? Oh, it's okay, it's right here. Her Gotta hit the target. Gotta drop the lamps. So basically, we're just going to lay waste to Shell City. Yeah, just like in the movie, pretty much. There's a, there's a lot of, like, paths you can take here. A lot of stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. Watch me swoosh right off. Oh well, we can grind manliness points. Which is, you know, not something you would say for most other games. I'm guessing it's the other starfish. And that, my friend, is how we do things in Bikini Bottom. Oh, I wish this place had something to read. Okay, I am not entirely sure where the last chest is. Could probably just uh, wait until later to look for that. 
or I could look for where there's no, uh, where there are no weights. I don't know. Did I, did I go all the way across this one? I mean, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's, like, past the part with the lamp, I don't know. Oh, uh. I mean, there's no weights on the blue one, but I swear I've been on the blue one. Hey, I'll go on the blue one. I still gotta figure out where the lamps even are. They're, oh, they're right there. Okay. I overestimate. Oh, but I'm I'm alive still. I wish this place had something to read. You know, I wish this place had something to read. So let's see, where is it? Where is it? It's uh over there. So yeah, I'm on the right I'm on the right track here. So long. So long, gay Bowser. Okay, yeah, it's right there. So, now I can finish the level without any regret. Well, maybe a little regret. Because, you know, it is me, after all. I'll find something to regret. Don't worry. Say on these pipes, I wonder. I can't really make it out now that I'm actually looking at type. It, I, it, I'm going by too fast. of debris in your wake, but you did make it, so here's your reward. An hour and 46 minutes. And so, after escaping the hideous fate that awaited them in the clutches of the Cyclops, SpongeBob and Patrick find themselves standing on the beach, staring out at the vastness of the ocean. How are we gonna get back to Bikini Bottom? I can take you there. Who are you? I'm not a lifeguard, but I play one on TV. Hooray! So, uh, where's your boat? Boat? <laughs> Couldn't actually get David Hasselhoff's Hooray! likeness for this Nothing game. Stop us now. Bikini Bottom, here we come! But there is an illusion to him. Unidentified object off the hind quarters. Bigger boot? But how? Did you miss me? Ah! Oh, damn damn it! It! Okay, so Dennis. Could hit that so Dennis gets another try at being a boss fight. Watch out for my rippling back muscles. And he's possibly even less threatening than he was before. Good attempt. It 
fine attempt at a boss fight. Honestly, the enemies are what's posing the most threat here. Excellently done cutscene, as always. After many adventures, our heroes arrive back home. But it is a much, much different place from the one they left. Where there once was rolling green fields and bustling city streets, there is now Planktopolis, a city as dark and twisted as the heart of its teeny tiny ruler. All of Bikini Bottom's familiar faces are now covered by unfashionable mind-controlling buckets. And perhaps most horrible of all, King Neptune is at the Krusty Krab too, preparing to fry Mr. Krabs. Bikini Bottom's only hope rests with a small yellow sponge and a pink sea star. Can they survive the dangers of Planktopolis? Ooh, let us hope so. Plankton's bucketheads are being controlled by those statues. If we destroy them, we can break his control over them. I'm sorry, SpongeBob. You don't have enough Goofy Goober tokens for me to give you the Sonic Wave. But Mindy! Sorry, SpongeBob. Okay, we gotta pad out the game. So, what do we actually need here? Could uh, do the time challenge. Yeah, we'll just we'll do that. I have a feeling it's going to be 35. You guys took a while going down the slide the last time. I like to stop and smell the anemones and old tires. Well, try sliding quickly instead. If you make it under the allotted time, you'll earn a reward. Okay, let's do this level again. I only found one, uh, one out of three treasure chests. May or may not get the treasure chest in my own time, but I'm not sure. Not sure yet. But let's try and do this real fast so we can get one more token and get the move we need. Did Mindy bother to tell us if the train was still running around here? Alright, so there's one that I missed. Oh, different. Again, don't even question where we got the tub from. Probably just laying around somewhere. Oh, uh, I can explain. Uh oh. Now I get it. <laughs> I'm a bit slow. But I get there in the end. Was I already this way? Oh. Well, I mean, I guess because it wouldn't let me turn that way. I would like to get the secrets in this level. I mean, oh, what was that? What was that collision? 
I mean, really, what was it? I, I barely even saw it. I just know something was weird. Something wasn't right there. I mean, I don't think it was that way. Luckily, I am capable of jumping in a bathtub. SpongeBob must have gone to the same school of platforming as Donkey Kong and his uncanny ability to jump in a minecart. It's just a fundamental law of video games. Okay, we know I did that one. It might be down like there. Could be. Could be. I got 40 seconds to get to the goal. 30 seconds. By the way, Patrick, when was the last time you took a bath? Oh, uh, oh, can I get there in the next few seconds? Can I? Yes, I can. Wow, that was fast. Here's your reward. Okay, now, let's see. Is that enough to get the move? I mean, either way, I'm not doing Planktopolis yet. I've got a real challenge. Did Mickey bother to tell us? And yeah, there's ring challenges for the slides, too. So, let's see. Okay, so you got three more levels in the game. So let's see if there's enough, if it's enough to get the move yet. I'm sorry, SpongeBob. You don't have enough hmm. baby goober to- But, man, sorry. Still not enough. Would it? Do I need 40? Okay, I guess we're doing some more. I mean, I'm still gonna stream for just a little bit longer. I'm reaching that, you know, fabled two hour mark. Drive through each ring as it appears. Each ring will only be visible for a short. Oh, I didn't mean to choose this level, but, you know, I'll do it. So much destruction. Now we're doing the ring challenge. Gotta pad that game out. Get that minimum required playtime, so that we don't, so that they can't get the Steam refund. Oh wait, no, Steam didn't exist yet. Never mind. But yeah, we're we're definitely hitting the point where it's like, dang it, you haven't played enough of the game yet. Go back and play some more. <laughs> so that it seems like we uh, <laughs> I don't think they would do that, personally. I think 
I think that luckily they know which version we want. And then it turns out they just, they remade the PC version entirely separately. And that's what you get on PC. So you still don't have a PC port of the proper game. Oh, but Patrick, you went to Glove World. The gloviest place on Earth. Okay, gotta break a little bit to meet that one. Oh, crap. The ring appeared in an unexpected place. Sonic and the Unexpected Rings. My favorite Wii game of questionable quality. Since you beat the other challenges so easily, I have a tough one for you. Easy? Uh, yeah, it was easy. Oh, very easy. All right, I'll give you a hard time to beat. Get to the end of the road in less than the set time. Okay, hard time challenge. Gonna have to use my nitros. My, my turbo. Gotta shift into maximum overdrive. I like that the uh, turbo actually had a tough time catching up to me there. Oh no, that this does not bode well. Okay. Get the nitro. Get the other nitro. That probably would have proven more effective if I was on the road. Try not to get hit by cars this time. That would be lovely. Don't hit the wrecking ball. I wasn't, I didn't, I don't even know, man. Okay, I'm missing that one. Not, not going back for it. Oh, cutting it close. Okay, didn't get it. I specifically drove out of my way to get, oh no. Oh no. Oh, 
Okay. You did it. You can try and beat your best time on this road. We'll do it, Mindy. Nothing can distract us. Wheels on the paddy wagon go round and round. And then, yeah, I I expect you need a uh, forty, but I'm gonna try again. I'm sorry. That's my favorite line ever. Okay, so let's do some more. Getting the move might be a good time to end the stream. As it appears. So let's just uh, let's get the move, and then we'll call it we'll call it a night. Ring challenge. Hey, a desert. The of the sea. Okay, that's a pretty wacky jump they have you do there. Oh no, I'm dead. I have failed to ring correctly. close to a level. Oh, I forgot about that. Gotta start again. I made a point of bringing up the wacky jump, and then I don't even do the wacky jump the second time. I don't know if holding up actually does anything, or if it's just a visual. It sure feels like you're doing something. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah, I realize my commentary has once again deteriorated a bit. But I'm going on two hours, and I've told you... Well, I'm not going on. It's been two hours, and I've told you about... The dust and curse of not being able to go longer than two hours without your commentary deteriorating. Which is an overly wordy name and we really need to think of a better one. Oh, they're, they're making you go off the beaten path a little bit for these going towards the edge. Talk about pretty rock formations, Patrick. This one's a view. Talk about pretty rock formations, Patrick. This one's a view. Ha 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 ha. See, I'm guessing I need 40 tokens in order to get the move. Yeah, the collision there is kind of weird. I'm not sure why. It's not like this game can't handle slopes. Oh lord, please don't make me jump on that one rock that I had trouble with before. Please ring challenge, I'm begging you. Did Mindy bother to tell us if the train was still running around here? Oh. 
Oh, okay. Well, I got hit, but I still got the ring, so it's okay. Oh, oh no! No! My legacy! <laughs> You know, let's do a different one. You know what, we can do this one now, so let's do it. And I know where a secret is here. I like how you're supposed to hit the switch to get up here, but you can just teleport up here whether you really have it or not. I keep pressing the wrong button. Yeah, so we get a little throw fruit challenge in the best music level of the game. Ouch. It's kind of hypnotic. Bring up two. Okay, now we do want to take a little side trek down here. And that's all the secrets here. Secret chests. And I'm surprised I managed to make it back up. You know, we haven't looked at the extras, so let me let me do that real quick. Oh, well, yeah, we're actually probably going to need to... Yeah, you get some stuff. You can have, like, long antennas, a new targeting hand, buckethead fountain, fish hook hand. And there's actually a couple costumes here. So like uh, I might have to reload the level to to get him into this. Mermaid Man SpongeBob as well. Might have to die or like reload the level for it to work, but Okay, this one's gonna be a little challenging. I mean unless I can throw it all the way from over here. I can, but it blows up. Okay, that's one. Okay, cool. <laughs> Whatever that just was. I think I may have broken something. Or the... <laughs> okay, so... There is a challenge we're missing still. Oh, and I know what it is, too. You gotta be Spongebob. It's my favorite line ever. So, we need two more. We can get, we can get this one. And I remember... The lava fall. Hmm, wait, what? Frozen lava dessert. Yeah, so the lava fall has a secret on it. So I gotta make sure to get that before. Yeah, see, here we go. Here's Disco Patrick. Slipping, slipping, slipping. So was it here? I don't think. So, uh, was it just the one? Yeah, it's just the one we're missing here. Ouch. Okay, so that that doesn't work. Macho stuff. Just like walking on ice cream. I mean, I see, I see where it is, where the uh, actual token is. Um, am I supposed to be able to do this? I don't feel like I'm supposed to be able to do this.
Okay, and there absolutely is a lava fall somewhere around here with a secret, so... I mean, I only see one place. I mean, unless it's all the way over. No, I don't see a place where that could be over there. Oh, but there are two, like, uh... Two drop areas, I see. There, there is a secret here. I'm not crazy. I might be stupid, but I'm not crazy. Okay, so I don't think it's at this Just one. Like walking on ice cream. Let's see, but we could probably see it from over here. Yeah, it had to be that one. Did I, did I get it? I don't think I got it. I mean, maybe you have to go down further. Get up here and fight like a starfish. Hmm, now I don't know. Now I don't know where it is. This this might be another one of those uh, do while I'm Ooh, offline things. Myself. I mean, I guess I got nothing to lose by trying. Except, you know, my time and patience. Hmm, yeah. I don't know right this second. I'll worry about it later. Hmm. Yeah, we're running out of ones that aren't slide challenges let's see doubt it but do we have do we have enough yet I'm sorry yep gotta have 40 if not more if anyone knows what this screen does please tell me Hmm. I'll do this one. Want another Goofy Goober token? Sorry, we don't have any to spare. Patrick, she meant, do we want another token? Right. Get to the bottom of the slide as quickly as you can. If you beat the time, I'll reward you. I think we just need one more, though. So we can do this mission, get the move, and I might do one quick thing, and then we'll then we'll end it. How is that for you? Oh no! Don't don't fly off the ledge. Oh, it, it, oh, there was a there was a secret there. I think some of some description. Do you have any fruit? Fish. Can I just jump down here? I can. Is that something I wish to do? Who knows? Going down. Ah, medic. Oh, you like me now? Oh, this is gonna hurt. Well, at least we got some more manliness. Mm. Oh, 
That's the that's the bright side to look on here. I don't think I went down this way last time. It, no wait, I actually might have. I don't I don't remember. I'm foolish and unaware. Just gonna go left both times. Maybe we will find something that we have not seen yet. Of course, maybe not. I don't know. My leg is kind of falling asleep again, so I gotta move it into a different position. Okay, so we're we're just back here, I think. Are those random? Or are they always the same? I'm not actually sure. No, that thing was a lot smaller when we saw it in the actual level. Ugh, don't bring up the word splinters in the context of Spongebob. So many choices, so little time! So I'm just going left both times. I'm pretty sure I didn't take this path at least. Nasty tongue intestine. Oh, I messed up. It's all right, but I still messed up. That fact cannot be ignored. Challenges to the slide. SpongeBob, she's hot. Patrick, I think she can hear you. Listen up, you two. As you're sliding, rings will appear along the way. You have a limited time to get through each ring. Get through every ring, and I'll give you a reward. All right, let's see if we got it now. Let's see if we can finally have it if we've grinded enough. Bob, you've got enough Goofy Goober tokens for me to teach you a new ability. You have a special power that you can use. I, uh, do? Yes, you have the power of music. Two hundred fifty-seven and a half watts of ear-splitting metal! The power of music! You can steer the sonic wave right to where you want it to hit. We did it, Mindy! We went to Shell City and got Neptune's crown! Oh, Spongebob, I knew you could do it. But my father is already at the Krusty Krab 2 on the other side of Planktopolis. Oh no! There are bucket heads everywhere! How will we get through? I found out that Plankton is controlling the bucket heads using those giant statues. If we destroy them, we can break his control. Let's get it on. Okay, but I'm gonna do one thing first. I'm gonna do one more mission. Oh, actually, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean out the last two in here, and then I'm gonna quit. Okay, so this is actually a Patrick mission, and I misremembered. At least, maybe. No, maybe you do need to be SpongeBob for this. 
I'm not entirely sir sure. I might not be entirely sir either. Either way, you can get in there as Patrick. Now, are you supposed to be here? Yeah, this does seem like a Patrick mission. Oop, oop. Ah, uh, we are so close to another level. And we do want to upgrade SpongeBob's guitar move. Is there anything you can... <laughs> I have a feeling you could probably use this to clip through the wall if you were creative. I'm not. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> At least not enough to do it. Okay, so last mission of the night. I don't think it's too hard, but gotta be SpongeBob for this. And this is what it looks like. So yeah, may look familiar if you watched or played Battle for Bikini Bottom. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take it. Now I remember this. You basically just fly through the rings. So it's in a way, it's kind of like a flight simulation. As if you didn't have enough types of gameplay. Playing some good old Star Fox. Going through the whole level with this thing. You're right, sir, the bubble rocket. Anyway, that'll be it for me tonight uh next time will probably be tony hawk for real this time for real this time and then i don't know maybe some sonic adventure smash or something i don't know and then we'll probably come back to this game and probably finish it up